guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 505, featuring a look at a game called Warlords Battle Cry 3. And now, if you're not familiar with this, you probably, you know, you may have heard of the original Warlords games. You know, I played the played them to death uh, back in the day, early 90s, uh, on my Amiga computer. I played that with my dad and friends. Uh, you know, then the uh, third game, Warlords 3: Dark Lords Rising, which is also on GOG, I think for 5.99. Uh, that continues that series. It's, it's Great turn-based fantasy, uh, you know, just everything you could ask from that genre, I think. It's one of the, my, my favorites, really, from that era. Uh, but they also had this uh, spinoff, or this other series going, called the Battle Cry uh, series, which is a, uh, they went from turn-based to real-time. So it plays more like a classic Warcraft or a uh, Starcraft, you know, that sort of game, uh, than it does those uh, classic Warlords games. Uh, anyway, once again, I went to the fans and said, you know, what is the, uh, what's your favorite game of this series? And most people that are really familiar with it said you should try the third one. Uh, that is the pinnacle in terms of fun and balance and details and content, all the rest of it. So why not? You know, I thought I'd give this a go, uh, see what I think. And I got to say, it is fantastic stuff. It is definitely worth every penny of the $9.99 that they're charging for it on GOG. Uh, so you want the uh, too long, didn't watch version of this. Uh, just go ahead and pick up the game. You're going to have a good time with it. It's got a few little issues we'll cover in this video, but overall, it's solid stuff. Anyway, we've got a lot to cover here. So without further ado, here is Warlords Battle Cry 3. <laughs> Warlords, baby warlords. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I cannot get enough warlords in my life. I'm just warlorded. Warlord. <laughs> oh, warlord. <laughs> uh, what a great franchise. Uh, you know, there, there's so many good games. You know, this is the third one again. You know, as, as you recall, uh, I usually do the first game in a series just because usually that's the most historically significant one. You know, I kind of do the history. That's kind of my thing. The older it is, the better. I want to see what happened first and all that, but I decided to buck that trend. I mean, you got to try something new, so I just asked people and did a little research, a little survey, and like, what's the best of Warlords games, you know, and they pretty much uh, unanimously said, there were a few people said other games, but uh, most seem to agree that this third iteration is the best, the most polished, the, you know, the best balance. <laughs> this is as good as it gets, basically, and so I thought I'd take their advice and, and play this one instead of the first one or I don't know why I would choose the second one. <laughs> but anyway, I think they're right. Again, I haven't played the first one, so I'm not going to be able to compare it to that. Uh, but I'll just say, as a game, this, this holds up well. I had a good time, but we'll get into it here in a minute. Uh, so as you can see, this one came out in 2004. Um, and let's see, the one I played last time, the Dark Lords Rising, came out in 1998. As you recall, this one is a turn-based version. I guess you probably can't see that, but it says turn-based <laughs> strategy. Do you like strategy games? Check. Do you like turn-based? Oh, yeah. Do you like fantasy? <laughs> the Matt Burton! You know, so I'm going to like this game. <laughs> it checks all the boxes. That, these are the boxes I want to see checked. I don't care about the other boxes. You know, it's strategy, turn-based. Okay, I'm there. Uh, I'm a turn-based guy. And as I get older, I'm even more turn-based. I'm turning more turning basically all the time <laughs> just the reflexes the having to move all around you know gives me carpal tunnel uh especially if the interface isn't so smooth which you know we'll have to i'll have to tell you that this one is not going to be the best in terms of being able to move smoothly around the map a lot of that's my biggest issue with this i really like the click and drag you know like uh civilization games like that you just hold the button down you can move around the map uh this one you have to go to the edges of the screen i hate that that is like the Ooh, ooh, I don't like edge scrolling. Ah, I hate it. Ah, not my favorite. Uh, this one's got edge scrolling. Okay, big, big minus on that. Uh, but it does. You can use the arrow keys. You know, you click around the map. So you sort of fuss. You, you can sort of fuss with it, work around that. Uh, but that's a big limitation, you know, my uh, my point of view. Uh, so I just get that out of the way now. And you probably hear me complaining about it uh, throughout. Uh, but I will say this, I like the, as much as I like the uh, Warlords 3, the turn-based one, uh, this one, is, in a way, you know, it's different enough where you, it's not nowhere near like the same gameplay experience. Uh, it does have the fantasy, you know, you see role-playing, strategy, fantasy. There's a lot of emphasis here on heroes, which is kind of cool. Uh, I just, I'm just going to say they're two very different games. I know it may not look like, <laughs> okay, they're, they're probably not that different 
you know, to somebody that doesn't play games. But you know, when you get in here and start playing them, you're going to see a lot of big differences. And you might like those differences. But, you know, you might think this is a better better one than the uh, turn-based one. Uh, I just tend to see it as different. Now, I do see it as very well done. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun, as you'll see. There's lots and lots of variables in here. You can really get into it. It's uh, There's enough stuff going on where you... There's no reason you should feel like this is repetitive. You know, like a lot of the a lot of similar games to this give you like two or three factions to play. <laughs> this is like way more factions, way more stuff. Uh, I don't know how balanced it is, you know, in, compared to some of those. Uh, you know, if you have fewer thing, fewer uh, variables, it's easier to balance the gameplay. I mean, this is <laughs> lots of stuff going on. So there's probably ways to like uh, really cheese the mechanics on this. But uh, you know, if that's on you, if you do that. I just like to have fun. Uh, the developer, let's see if they, they probably don't tell us that on the uh, on this page, but I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Let me pause this for a second. Yeah, here's the Wikipedia page. You can see, uh, let's see, produced Janine Faulkner, designer Steve Faulkner. So it's the same guy, Steve. I got to get this guy on the show. <laughs> Steve, are you watching this? Come on, man. Uh, puzzle quest. Oh, sure. You got something you want to promote, right? Come on. Uh, let's see. So, Steve, I wonder if Janine is his. You think that's his wife? Let's click on this and see if it tells us. You know, I always, I always love the husband wife teams. Uh, I'm not going to be able to find that here. You know, why is there a page for Steve but not for Janine? I mean, isn't, isn't producing. <laughs> isn't that worthy of a Wikipedia page? I don't know probably find it okay i'm gonna go to movie okay i had to dig around a little bit to find that but it looks like they are husband and wife good for them yeah, this is kind of a picture she's like cut off what is this <laughs> you just can't catch a break you know it's like oh we're gonna take a photo but we're gonna like cut you you know you're gonna see part of your face kind of weird uh janine faulkner producer so i don't even know if they have her name spelled it's like her name is spelled a couple different ways get it together people Anyway, I'm going to quit harping on this. I want to jump into this game. Uh, we'll play through maybe the... I want to see how it goes. I want to see if I can get through at least a couple of missions. It is kind of broken into quests. There's lots of ways. You can, it's not a very linear thing. You know, there's uh, different places you can go. Uh, so I've played it enough. I've played it a few times just to make sure I could actually get through a map without embarrassing myself, which that took longer than I thought. <laughs> You know, not a game where you can just kick back, relax, and somehow still win. No, you got to really get on the ball quick if you want to have any chance of a, a victory. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll get to that. Uh, let's go. Oh, mods. Um, you know, I, I experimented with some mods. Uh, I didn't have much luck with them, to be honest with you. I had a widescreen mod I was playing with. Problem is, you can make the map bigger, nice full resolution, but the the text and stuff gets so, so small. <laughs> Unless you want to have like a magnifying glass up here trying to see, like what is that? Oh, is that a two or three? You know, it's just kind of a non-starter uh, on a big enough screen. I, I don't know why they can't make the interface blow up. You know, with uh, so you can actually see it. <laughs> it's kind of nice. You know, I think it's kind of up on my quality life. What do they call those things? The quality of life aspects you know, you know being able to see it is kind of high up on my list you know i don't dig the tiny th stuff uh, so i'm not gonna play this with any mods just just whatever's on gog is fine uh, unfortunately that that will mean that you can't uh, play it in a window it's one of the things that makes it easy for recording probably doesn't matter to you as a, as a player but just if you're going to try to record some stuff it makes it a little awkward if you have to have full screen because you can't see your uh, your video uh, i don't have i'm not sophisticated enough here at the mat cave to have another monitor <laughs> Oof. Uh, uh, so i just do the best i can uh, but anyway let's get this game up running and see what it's all about <clears throat> Tip of the day. Check the World Arts 3. <laughs> I wonder if that website even exists anymore. Thank you for that tip. Okay. Probably just gonna. Sh you can do the tutorial, but uh, I don't need no stinking tutorial because I've already got a level 9 guy. Now, this is a game where 
you really are better off. You know, the more you play, the higher the level of your character, you're going to have a lot easier time. It's really rough starting out. And I don't know if the first couple quests you do are really a good rep representation of the rest of the game. Uh, so I think I'm not going to do those early ones. Just going to skip straight to a more uh, a quest you might do a little bit later on. You know, I imagine a good many people that play this don't even do the campaign. You, know, you could just do the scenarios or do a custom thing. Of course, there's a whole multiplayer element we're not going to be able to get into because it's just moi. <laughs> but, you know, you could uh, get all competitive. Now, let's see. <clears throat> I'll open up a little bit of this so you can see you know, some of the items we could do. It's, we want an easy quest. You do not want to do anything hard. <laughs> Let's see, Sundered Isle. This isle was the place where Prince Mordain cast the spell of Sundering in 1032. Today it is guarded by high elves who... Man, what is with elves always getting high? You know? Those elves, a little too much nature if you ask me. What are they doing? Stop any daemons! What's up with daemons, dude? Why is it just demons? Stop any demons! coming through the rift that was created. Do they think putting that A in there would like fool your parents and they're like, oh, <laughs> I don't want you playing anything satanic, little boy. <laughs> it's Daemon, man. Daemons. Okay. Oh, wait. How do I actually... There we go. Now, you see, this is uh, what I've done a couple times, so hopefully this will be... Uh, I won't look like a total noob trying to play this level. <laughs> I've done about... I played it like... I'm going to say probably ten times I died most of those uh, but I last couple ones I was able to, to actually have a victory so you know I could show you uh, where you might be if you're <laughs> really slow on the uptake <laughs> uh, let's see <clears throat> easy 60 crowns uh, small groups of day emons are still coming through the rift some are even trying to establish a base they must be defeated what we need is a wall you can build walls in this game. Let's see, knight. You know, I've only ever played the knights. I did go through all these races trying to find one with uh, little rats. Because I like to play little rats, but no, there's no rats. I need to uh, pay somebody. Maybe they can make a mod where I can actually play the proper minions. You know, like, I don't understand the, a game. Uh, it's the point of a game won't let you play rats, or at least kill a rat or two. I mean, I don't ask for much, folks. See, extra army perks. Uh, you may purchase extra army perks for this battle. It is pronounced perks, by the way. You currently have 12 perks. Your treasury contains 260 crowns. Oh, man. You know, I've never done this. Maybe I should spend some of my perks. I, I don't... <laughs> I always just... It's like potions. I, I don't want to... I'm always thinking I better save those for some more tough mission. All right, so what this screen does, we can put in some of our, some of these, I guess, kind of super guys over here that you win if you do some quests. Or once you complete this, you might get some additional retinue that you can uh, plunk in. I think we can get some info about, yeah, right, no? Is there a way to get info? Uh, info, can I get information? You should have read the manual, boy. Yeah, because I don't know what these little things mean. I think that means something. <laughs> I think that means he's level 16, level 11, or he's got more power. I don't know, folks. Uh, I'm just going to grab those two. I've got some more points left. Let's grab a peasant. These guys can build stuff. And I guess the eagle could be used to scout around. Uh, but I just like to keep things a little bit simple here. Uh, and again, you're not looking, you're not playing with the master <laughs> of this game. <laughs> I'm probably just, I'm probably going to have comments that are just full of hate. Learn how to play a game before you do a video on it more. For some reason, I'm imagining all you guys are like my grandpa. I don't know what, what's, what is up with that. Okay. You hit F12 and it pauses. <laughs> That is a hot key worth remembering if you're playing multiplayer. So that would be too, uh, you know, that would be make it too easy, I guess. Okay, uh, let me see how to break this down. I'm going to assume you play games like uh, Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, but uh, 
you know, the, uh, the, the, the first one, <laughs> just, just regular Warcraft, uh, or uh, maybe Starcraft, uh, Total Annihilation, you know, all the rest. So I'm not going to go through all of like, what is a real-time strategy sort of thing. Uh, but I will talk about some of the stuff that makes this one interesting, or maybe a little bit different. Uh, what we need to do, I think, first, is we need to grab our hero, and you can hit Control h to grab him. Now, here's a little technique. <clears throat> if you hit Control one that makes it uh, so I can go back to him just by pushing 1. And that'll be really useful, because there's certain things your hero can do that you can't, other guys can't do. Mainly, now here's another hotkey. If we hit R... Now, I know what you're thinking. Zoom out. Mouse wheel. It's not working. I don't, I don't I guess, didn't they, they have mouse wheels? When, when did this game come out? I've already forgotten. Uh, no support for mouse wheel. There's no way to zoom out. Oh, you wish you could. You wish you could. <laughs> Just consider that part of the charm. Part of the challenge. Uh, but anyway, if you hit R, I guess that's probably radius. Even though this is really a diameter. I think I've got that right. Uh, should it be D for diameter? Anyway, uh, what that shows us is the sort of zone around which this hero can claim resources. And these little guys are the resources. So you've got the, the gold, which is of paramount importance. I think this is ore. Yeah, it tells me up there. Level 3 ore mine. Uh, adds two metals per second to your tally. Of course, you need those to build lots of different kinds of troops. And then there's quarries, which this is, uh, we're going to need that for buildings, I believe. Oh, the click and drag. Oh, the click and drag. Oh, oh I can't click and... What the hell does that do? I don't know. I guess I can make a little green box. Uh, selection box. So at least we have that going for us. Uh, so I'm going to have to use the arrow keys to move this map around, or click over here, because otherwise I'm... Man, I don't even think the edge scrolling is... Yeah, you see what I... Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so these towers are for defense. Now, I don't think there's anything I can do, but... I guess I could make them attack a certain target. But I'm pretty sure that... Ooh, what's this? Unload troops. Does that mean I can load troops into that thing? Well, I just learned I could do that. <laughs> no, it can be upgraded by adding infantry and archers to its garrison. Army limit plus two. <clears throat> okay, so they give you, they let you have more troops building these night towers. And I guess you can stick people in them. Let's go ahead and... The little uh, gauntlet means you can add somebody to that. Oh, so that's good to know. I don't know if it would be better to have these troops just out and about or maybe reinforce these towers. I won't put my really super duper guys in there. Let's go ahead and stick a sword swordman in there too. Why not? Okay. Now I can click all this stuff and you can make an army out of it. But let's just wait till those guys have moved. Now I want to get my hero working on this conversion. So he will the yeah see they see they have a red circle around them now. So that means these will soon be part of my kingdom and then this will uh, upgrade or up. Uh, Increase my rate of collecting these resources. Now, while he's doing that, the reason I want a peasant, I can have him just go ahead and start building things. You only can build this keep to start with. But that's what makes peasants. And then this, you'll upgrade that several times. And every time you upgrade it, you get more types of buildings. And I think it also gives you more army. So you you can have uh, more troops. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's go ahead and hit... I guess we can go ahead and check out what the where the enemy is. So he's over there. There's that portal I need to uh, work on. Uh, there's some of the bad guys. So they'll be claiming resources too. You can see the enemy hero there. Demon hero, Gazarok. Probably don't want to run, rush over there and try to kill him right away. You know, I could try that, but I don't think that's the strategy. I think, oh, what's this? Mausoleum cannot be converted. Heroes may obtain quest. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Has all sorts of things with heroes. Might as well go back to mine. See, he'll have a spell book here somewhere where he's got some things he can do. But he he's also got all kinds of other effects. You know, he's got a he can make a, troops have better morale. It's pretty good in combat. 
Uh, but the thing is, if I let him die, that's very, very easy <laughs> to let happen. But once he dies, I wouldn't be able to claim any more of these resources, and that'd probably be the end of the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me check his uh, inventory. So you can see I got some items already from previous campaigns. Right, and I think you can also... Let's see. Um, this guy... No, I guess he doesn't have a backpack. So maybe it's just the hero that has the backpack. This, this must be just like a super troop. Dwarf Lord, Dwarven General. Okay, that makes sense. So, didn't I have another one that I brought over? Human Builder. There's me. I know I had two guys. Knight, Archer, Squire, Dwarf Lord. I'm only seeing one other general, so maybe I'm just imagining that I did that. Uh, but anyway, we could have like a secondary army. And we could give this uh, general to double damage versus buildings. Okay. Let's hit F12, and these guys will get to moving. I notice also there it said a game speed, so you could slow down things if it's getting a little too hectic for you. Alright, so that guy went into this tower here. Let's click on it. Now you can see that I've got my two units here. Oops. I think I just accidentally removed it. <laughs> Alright, go back inside. So let's see what happens when he goes inside there. So right now it's combat 10, speed 1, damage 30 to 10. Let's see what happens when he goes back in. Yeah, so it raised combat. Looks like it put one more point on combat. Oh, three more points on combat. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, go ahead and do that, because they'll probably come for that tower and probably that tower first. Just looking at the way they're placed there. Uh, okay, where's my peasant? Is he peasanting? Peasanting? Nope, he's not peasanting. <laughs> Go over there, boy! Alright. Okay, he's on his way. This guy is... Converting? Let's let my other guys hang out here for a little while. Let me get this basic stuff done. Alright, he has claimed the resources. Now, the thing is, you see this little thing here with the little, little dude... I can stick peasants in these <coughs> resources, I think up to, I want to say seven or eight, <coughs> kind of a weird number. Uh, it'll tell me when I max out, but increase, again, the <coughs> amount of gold I'm able to uh, produce, or ore, etc. These are level, I think the minus three looks like a bad thing, but that's just level three quarry. Adds two stone per second to your tally. Add builders to the mine to increase resource production. Okay, so he's done that. I don't think there's much else I can do. There's uh, some more resources up here, but I'm going to want to make some troops, I think, before I go over there. Because <clears throat> like I say, that computer will not waste time. He will soon be upon us. As soon as this gets built, then I should be able to build some other types of structures. Select builder stop by units and skills. Attitude... Yeah, so he could start making uh, more peasants, and <clears throat> we're just going to want to keep spitting those things out. At least that's what I've been doing. Seems to be working. But we really need to get a garrison up and going as soon as we can. So I'll probably use the hero for that purpose. I don't think he's sending anybody over here to attack just yet, but oh, he will. <laughs> Old on. New armies and buildings are available. Old. So he can build towers. He can build more of those uh, defensive things. He can build walls, like I said. Ramparts. Ramparts? <laughs> Ramparts. <laughs> uh, that's like uh, horizontal and vertical walls, I suppose. Uh, anyway, I would never mess with that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and build a garrison. The son of Gary. You gotta. You can't just put it anywhere, obviously. Uh, I wish I could put it somewhere a little bit better. Protection. Stick it over here. Okay, and then I can simultaneously go back to my hero, have him build a a smithy. Allows armor weapon advancement. Or we could just have uh, two garrisons. Probably gonna go for that option. 
Let's let the other one start so we can see where, where it is. I, obviously, I want to smithy as soon as possible, but I just don't want to run out of troops. <laughs> so, that has happened to me on multiple occasions. Okay, then I also want to get this working on uh, spitting out peasants. We can stick that on continuous production because I want to get these resources just maxed out, especially the gold. <clears throat> so that'll keep going. Let's see who I've got left here. A couple of, couple of guys. Go ahead and get them into kind of position there. Sir Malric. Okay, so these are my super troops I got. So that'll be really good. Hopefully they won't die so I can carry them over. I see I could use him to continue building things. Or I could go to work uh, getting more gold. I don't really know why I need that right away. So let's just stick him in the gold. And then we got the other peasants. He's finished as well. Let's go ahead and send him as well there. <clears throat> and we can start spitting out the basic troops. These are just the swordsmen. They're nothing special. But they're a lot better than nothing. All right, the second one is almost built too. Now, as I said, there are caps in half, plus the cost. You can see there are 19 of the, uh, what is that, metal? Four. Okay. And what we can also do, you can say, I want these guys to, when, they're, when, they, when you build them, uh, sort of convalesce over there. <laughs> Here's a word for that. I blanking on it. Uh, let's go ahead and build the smoothie too so we can start upgrading. We're going to need to try to get this better uh, keep as soon as we can too. We've got enough ore, just need more gold. It always comes down for me not having enough gold. So, yeah, we're kicking. Reporting in. Reporting in. There you go. See him. He's he's walking over there by himself. He's he's artificially intelligent. It's, it's such, a, such an amazing thing. These computers. All right. He's gone his way. How many do we have? Uh, where's my dude? Matt, where'd you go? Where's Matt? Where the hell is Matt? Oh, I guess he's there. I don't see myself. Oh. Duh. Forgot I was using them to build. <laughs> so that's one thing if you're a hero and you're building something. Takes him out of the way there for a second. Okay, now the smithy. Uh, he's got improvements. You can see the weapon smith. Increased melee damage by five. All he needs a little bit of more gold and silver to do that. <clears throat> Get better armor. So that'll be a great thing to start upgrading, but I don't know if it's the top priority. Okay, there's another guy getting him going. Your base is under siege. Base is under siege. By whom? Oh, we got a little uh, imp, impudent imp. Now, sadly, though, I think these guys have to be attacked by archers. I don't know if my regular dudes can even reach him. But let's try. Hopefully we can do something about him. I think my hero might be able to... Let's see a spell. Spellbook, spellbook. We can summon some sprites. Is anybody thirsty? <laughs> uh, does that work? Where's my sprites? Where is my... Did he not summon the sprite? Let's try it again. Maybe it can't be in turn-based mode. No, he did it. Okay, uh, where are my sprites then? I'm not sure. Is he... Maybe they're invisible. Well, the good news is, it looks like we were able to defeat that guy. He did a little damage. We can repair it. Eh, not too bad. Okay, I, I think we want to try to get to this keep 
So we want 294 gold. Okay, good, good, good. Let's move these guys up here. Might already be getting, we might already be getting close to the limit. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is probably premature, but I see these resources just so close by. Ooh, don't you go there. Move you down there. Okay. Some gold. Reporting in. 234, Let's see if that makes... So we've got five guys there. Now these will be harder to defend because they obviously it's closer to his base there. We don't have any towers. So we probably want to build a tower. You know, the sound effects are really key here because uh, you can listen for when those troops are made. We got a couple more, just let them congregate there. Hero. I need a hero. You ever watched that movie Footloose? I don't know if I've ever actually watched the movie. I just like the song. I <laughs> like Kevin Bacon. I should probably, should probably watch that. Oh, looks like we can make our tower now. So we can cancel that. Build keep level number two. Okay, we'll do that. And I think that'll make that first, and then switch to him. Let's just keep pumping in this gold mine. Okay. Now that's where we start to get a little bit dicey. You know, I wonder if I should put a couple of these guys in these towers. Let's just put a couple in there now. I don't know if that how that affects my army limit if they're considered. Looks like you can have four people in there. Oh, what the heck? Stick another guy in there. Off we go. Reporting in. Plus plus three, now it's plus six. So that all that's a pretty good bit of you know, I wonder what the difference is between adding an archer to it. Does that make the ranging? Well we could see, can't we? So that one's Yeah, so the archer looks like that improved the range. That's pretty cool. I like that tower system. That's pretty cool. I just uh, discovered that today. I think that's 33% done. Got a nice little group up here. Uh, might want to. I don't know if we want to keep making these, making these guys. We might want to slow down here. Oh, here comes another imp. He's going for that tower. Oh, something got him. Well, as long as you just keep sending one imp at a time, we'll be doing okay! I don't think he's going to do that, no. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's uh production of these guys. Because they do, uh, well, they, let, me, let me check this. Yeah, so they only cost, uh, four, so maybe we should just keep making them after all. need is gold. There we go. So now we can upgrade our all our troops. And this will work on everybody that's already made. So this is a pretty pretty big deal to get that upgrade. Uh-oh. Now we got a pretty serious attack. He's got his enemy hero. We got the enemy hero here. So I'm going to bring those guys down. Looks like the hero is running away. Yeah, they're gonna do some damage, looks like. Stick that guy in the tower. Come on. Oh, I can't fly. That's why you need archers, see? Looks like I'm up against a tough. Ooh, boy, that was a tough battle. Okay. Need to get this repaired pronto. Right. See, this is why you just need to keep making troops because. Yeah. Okay, I think during that excitement. Where's my hero? 
I'm able to... <clears throat> oh, I don't have enough gold. But I can... Yeah, Fletcher! I'll make this Fletcher next. So let's get that going. I can heal my hero. <coughs> I don't know if there's a way I can heal my other people. Your right. buildings are under attack. Ah, under attack. Where can I stick this? Not ideal placement. Okay. What else can he make? All right. Yeah, look at that guy. He's up there messing with that. He might be able to kick all my butts. Your buildings are under attack. Hopefully we can make him run away. Let's see. Let's see. Spell book. I'll do that for what that's worth. Spell failed. Oh, okay. So he's trying to cast it. Research complete. All right, he's running. I probably don't want to follow him though. Let's just stick here. My research is complete. Oh, I want some archers. Reporting in. All right. Uh, oh, Ooh, it's getting intense, isn't it? Markets are great, by the way. They give you more gold. They make uh, you can. Basically double your gold production with this. So it might actually be worth uh, trying to get to that. Let's just see if we can get to that. Do that next. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'll just use him to... Oh, maybe it is seven. No. Is that not built? 38%. Couple of guys there. You know, I could probably zerg or just rush over there and start trying to conquer him right off the bat, but I tend to play this a little bit more defensively. I like to build all the stuff. <laughs> it's just fun, you know? Okay, so he's... You know, it looks like I got everything I need but gold, really. So I'm just going to keep on uh, trying to get these gold mines going. Okay, what did it? What was it I said I wanted to try to build next? Oh, a market. Let's go to our hero. See if he can build it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Send him down there and build that market. Hopefully, these guys can take. Oh, where are you going? You see, he's trying to. It's pretty smart, isn't he? He's trying to like lure me over there. No, I don't know if these guys will be able to fight these fly or flyers. That is a problem. Let's send my hero back up there. I know he can. I think he can do something about it. And um, I guess that refunded me. I want a tower up there, but I can't quite afford one yet. Let's have the peasant build the uh, the market. Try to build it somewhere relatively safe. There we go. Your troops are under attack. Okay, I think that yeah, there's the. Okay, now we can make archers. So that's almost done. Let's put this guy on archers. Oh. Yeah, so this these cost money. So another reason why we need. Uh, all the money. We oh, look at this. These flyers are just killing all my dudes. They're totally ha helpless. I'll just send them back here. <clears throat> Your troops are under attack. We're going to need flyers to take care of those guys. Your buildings are under attack. Yeah. No, wait. Oh. Yeah, he can take care of them. Matt can take care of those pesky little imps. So I need to keep him here until we can build a tower. Alright. Um, getting that gold coming in. Let's see. Do I have any archers yet? 
Yeah, it looks like I got one archer there. I call them squires for whatever reason. You can upgrade these guys too, but guess what? It takes gold! At night. <clears throat> you know, he seems to be attacking up here a little more often than down there, so let's just move all these guys. And, uh, 490. I think we just need as much gold production. Yeah, this, uh, so we built this market now. We can increase income by plus one from all mines. So I think that's worth it. I'm trying to get this Reporting. mine. Uh, oh, What's this? Oh, I've got another one. Good, good, good. Okay, he's... Oh, we still got lots of room in there. So I'll pop over there, buddy. Okay. Oh, look, his hero's back. He keeps trying to lure him away. You notice that? Now, I think what I can do here... Let's see. Did we get everybody? Shift click, maybe? Yeah, we can assign these to hotkey number two. And this attitude business, you can have them guard your hero if you like. You see some of these AI options. Chase them a small distance. Roaming guardian, scouts, standard. So let's just keep them on defensive. That's probably the best choice for now. We'll get enough gold going. Your troops are under attack. This guy's there. Alright, he's making archers. Need 294 to upgrade them. What's this guy doing? Just standing around. 392. Ooh, gold, gold, gold. What is it? Is it? Oh, jeez, look at this guy. You see, this is this is this so silly. He's like went over there all by himself, Underway. almost got himself killed. I do have a potion I can take, a couple of those. You really have to micromanage it when it's a situation like this, because they will just keep going over there and getting killed by those towers. I'm not ready for that yet. Might even be worth. Uh, Give him another behavior. Go! Oh, where the hell are you going, people? Well, let's see. Don't do that. Gotta try to keep these guys pulled back. Don't, oh, don't go over there. Uh -oh. All right, killed him. Good, good. I need to get a tower. Hopefully, we'll. Everybody up in that space. Not making enough gold yet. Let's see. How much would it cost to get the next level of this? Ah, not too much. Let's go ahead and upgrade that again. That'll give me even more gold. Ah, this is Gonna have to put these guys on a different AI just to keep them away from that. Don't mind the archers going for these imps. Don't. Just stay put. Where are you going? Alright, let's try a different attitude. Uh, sure, guard. Let's see if that. No, he's still running over there. Wait, what was. Did you see a plus? Oh, I guess that was like, who am I guarding? Okay, guard. Me. Guard that guy. Just don't run over there. <laughs> Until we're ready, thank you. Okay, he's got one more put there. And I think that's about as much gonna be able to do it till we get some more. Reporting in. Okay. I'd like to upgrade my troops again. 
And there's some more buildings we need. Okay, let's see. We got some uh, more resources there. Let's do this the pit. Try to take some of his bases. Or we could go down here and try to take these uh, these resources away from him. Let's see, where's his gold mines? There's his gold mine way over there. There's another gold mine. Yeah, this is, I think, the place we want to go. Okay, probably do have to take some of his stuff out. Okay, let's grab these guys. Uh, where do I want you? I guess we could... Eh, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more ore coming in. Okay. Let's get these guys together. Oh, look, the heroes. He keeps coming back. Just running away. Yeah, I might let him chase him this time. It'd be great to kill his hero. Oh, he must have taken some potions. Not follow too closely. Go ahead and take that building out. Now you have to watch it because they, they tell them to attack a building and they'll just let these guys kill them. Try to kill these troops. Oh, look, everybody gained a level. Nope, kill the bad guy first. And I see they're running all over the place. Now we have a little bit more gold. Let's see if I can the build here yet. Oh, stables. We can build the stables now. That lets us build our knights. Those are really good troops. I guess we just park it there. And yeah, we still have some gold left over. Let's see what else we can build. Need um, four and I need to build that. Let's see. Can we upgrade our... Yep, we can upgrade our archers. That's a good thing. Okay. You need more gold. Need more gold. I'll be hearing that a lot. Research complete. All right, come on, tear up his base. We won't go for those towers. Would make sense to destroy the towers first, guys. Oh, destroy the thing that's shooting at you. Oh, they're gonna get cremated. Come on, quick, quick, quick. I don't have a whole lot of defense on them. Oh, stupid hero. Uh, there's another tower right there. Keep an eye on that hero. I do not want to lose him. I have my reinforcements coming. No, not the peasants. Peasants. Peasant. <laughs> you guys go ahead and move. Uh, let's see. Have them move over there and start working on that thing. Do not let the hero die! What's attacking him? Why don't everybody... Let's get out of range of that thing over there. What is this pit? It's probably like his main base. It's probably like his equivalent of the keep. Now let's see if we can move these guys here. Your hero is under attack. Your troops are under attack. Something's hitting my guys. Oh, get away from that tower! You know what? I'm just gonna have to regroup. This is just getting uh, too expensive. I'll tell you what, go ahead and move there. 
Where's my hero? Just trying to get himself killed. Yes, move there. Your troops are under attack. Okay, get out of range of that thing. That those towers are just devastating. But we can keep spitting out troops. Let's see, did I, did I build the stable? <laughs> Kid, can't even remember if I actually built the stable. I don't see it. Oh, is that what he's doing? And somehow he got unselected. Great. Go ahead and build the stable. You, uh, let's see. I don't have any more gold mines. Him in the ore slot. I need 490 for that. Uh, get a better armor. That's probably useful. Right. You see, my guys do eight, uh, get levels as we go here. Right. Now it's just a game of trying to build more troops than he can kill. <laughs> Okay, I don't, for some reason he's not wanting to build that stable there. I don't know where else he can build it. Try it up there. Two to four. Okay. Good music too. Love the music. You know, I might want to build a tower up there. The gold mine. I think we need to get up there next. Just as soon as I have a... Uh, is this enough, guys? No, I'm going to go for it. And let's move these. As soon as we get more reinforcements, let's... I need 294 gold. I think I'm. Those archers are costing me. Your troops are under attack. Oh great! He keeps popping out. What is it? Oh, this is the hero again. Yeah, he keeps coming and running, and then my guys chase after him. Very tricky. Go back to where I told you to go, because I think if we can get that other gold mine. Definitely go. <laughs> okay, now we have stables. We can start spinning out knights. These take uh, gold and ore. They also take a long time, so it shouldn't be that big of a drain. Let's put two more in there. This guy. Might as well move him up here because we're going to put him on the other gold mine since we, as soon as that's an option. Research, we go. Research is complete. Good. All right, get my hero. Yeah, once we get these, once we get that extra gold mine here, we should be golden. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Go over there. Get ready. Get our gold production up. Yeah. There. I feel like I'm a general now. <laughs> okay. A little more missile range. I guess that might be useful. Not quite sure yet, like, what's the actual best. Oh, God, this guy's pestering me. Don't go after him. Do not go after him. As soon as we claim this, I'm going to go after him. <laughs> All right, where's my hero? Let's see. There we go. Perfection. Oh, look, there's another ore mine. Might as well bounce over there and take that ore mine, too. 
Okay, yeah, good. Take these guys, move that way. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I need to do to siege equipment. These guys can go to that new gold mine. Okay. Just try to keep an eye on that gold meter when it gets high enough, you know, we can. That's a good spot, I think. Alright, um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Grab that ore mine there. Hi, lad. No, guys. Go back. <laughs> Go back. Your troops are under attack. I guess it's okay for the archers. Are they doing enough damage? Oh, slowly conquering it. You see, this is what I'm trying to avoid. See, he keeps... I think he's doing that deliberately, trying to kite my guys over there. Cunning. Alright, guys. Get to that gold mine. Now, let's see. Got a couple of cavalry here now. Now I should... I should go ahead and give them a rally point, too. Okay, now this is starting to get resemble an army. There we go. Let's see, where do I want these guys? Let me get a little bit closer. Your buildings are under attack. Damn it! He is just not going to stop. Really need to kill him. Alright, we conquered that now. Perfect. There's another gold mine. You know, I could... Let's see, what I, how do I want to proceed here? Yeah, let's go ahead and take that building first, I suppose. I'm not even sure what this is. Gallows? Your buildings are under attack. You know what you can do is just kind of tell them to attack anything in the area like that. Reporting in. Move out. Reporting in. I love to hear that sound. Your hero is under attack. Ah! Trying to get my hero again. What are you doing? All right, guys, get out of there. Your troops are under attack. Your buildings are under attack. Where are my buildings under attack at? Oh, there's that guy. Oh, he got right up in there, didn't he? Should take these archers off, kill that thing. Your troops are under attack. Your buildings are under attack. Ooh, everything's under attack. <laughs> it's just really, really bad. Okay. Grab these guys. And that dude. Alright. Jeez Louise. We've got to try to make some headway on this guy. He keeps sending his hero over there to mess with me. Let's see if I can mess with him. Ooh, you gotta keep an eye on that gold too, see I can upgrade something already. Should have enough gold to upgrade something. Increase weapon damage, melee damage, or armor for all units. Let's go ahead and do that. Your buildings are under attack. Probably should build more towers. Is that my building? I don't know what's... <laughs> Must have claimed it somehow. Alright, good. Got that building out of the way. Now we're cooking. I think everybody's there. Yep. Yeah. Gotta, again, be really careful because they won't go for these towers automatically. 
your buildings are under attack. Let's see, go ahead. I should attack the tower. Then we got all these little extra guys running around. They are just determined to kill this hero. And I'm out of potions. I just need to get him out of there. Oh, good lord, he's got a lot of towers. That's going to be expensive, but we got to do it. Look at this hero, man. He's just... Matt, what are you doing? I said to stay back. Your troops are under attack. I got nothing left with these archers. Hell out of here. Regroup. Your buildings are under attack. Go back. Back, 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 back. <laughs> See how you get distracted. Next thing you know, you got like 50 peasants just hanging around. Probably don't even need this many. What can I build? I need to upgrade my... Ooh, all Knights gain plus one XP per kill. I need four. Almost there. We can upgrade that to the third power. Your buildings are under attack. All right, go ahead. You uh, really all we need is gold. Oh, he stuck back there and took that again. Son of a. Poof. All right, I get it. They're under attack. Jeez, Louise. Grab these guys. All right, we got to come back here and take this back. Reporting in. I have got to get some more towers built. I think Your that was are under attack. not smart not to have a tower over there. We'll just keep coming there and taking that. That says we can can't get on the offense. Come on, guys. Should be able to scare him off. Oh, he's gonna take some of them out. They're just archers. Okay, good. Just stay. Okay, we can reclaim that. Why can't he build that? I want him to build a tower. There we go. Yeah, that should make it a little bit tougher for him. Your troops are under attack. Okay, move these guys up to where they can do some good. Got some more peasants. Let's see. I need to remember to wait until I can build this keep. Your troops are under attack. We're gonna be inundated with the. Uh... Go ahead and send these guys up here. So when that when that's ready, we can. Okay, it's ready. You Over there. Okay, and then they just continue on like they just bloodlust crazed. Stay back. Your buildings are under attack. Uh, it really? All right, now we have that tower. Let's go ahead and stick some archers in there and some swordsmen. Swordsmen. There we go. That should stem the flow a little bit. Yeah, we should have plenty of these guys. Jump into that gold mine. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, son of a... 
He is something else. He's trying to claim that stuff. Sounds like the little harassment guys. You know, let's see this. That hero can't have that much health left. Maybe I should just try to take him out. Not you. You guys. Go there. You guys. Come here. I'm gonna try to take his hero. I think I am sufficiently tired of him. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Let's just take this guy. Ooh, got a nice big army now. Could probably run to his towers and try to maybe have to fight all that. Where the heck's he going? Oh, running away, eh? Trying to Persian me, eh? Oh, get him. Oh, kill this Gazarok. Oh, I hate this thing. Kill it. Kill. I just noticed I got plenty of gold now. I can uh, upgrade this. Yeah, yeah it's still got some gold left. That's. What is that? All nights. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, we should do that at some point. There. You know, sometimes you can have these. You can forget about some of your uh, peasants. I've done that a few times. Let's make. We can upgrade the plus two combat for cavalry. That sounds useful. Let's turn off continuous production, so it'll just roll over. Just have to remember to come back and uh, grab that full plate armor. Plus twenty armor for all knights. Probably better to wait on that. Okay, another peasant. Put the peasant into the gold mine. Your troops are under attack. And I don't know how I could do this without pausing. An enemy hero has been destroyed. I got him. Now this is cool. See that treasure chest? I can go over there and get that treasure. Ah, uh, where's my hero? Oh, he was way over there. You know what, hero? Go ahead and grab that gold mine. I don't know how he got over there by himself. Though. That ain't... That ain't smart. Let's go ahead and try this guard thing. I think we could do that, and then they'll guard him. I probably only needed to defeat the portal, but I want to kill everything! I'm a completist, completionist! <laughs> Ah, uh, feels good. Ah, oh, look at that stupid imp. Alright, I think I did something good. I think I won! Hmm. <laughs> Yay! You know, I was thinking... Kind of a silly thought, but... You know when people play sports, especially in, like, high school... Or even earlier, but they uh, they get cheered, right? Yeah, everybody cheers. The audience cheers. It's like such a big adrenaline rush. Of course, uh, people that are nerdy like me never get to experience that because we're never <laughs> ever played sports, so we missed out on that sort of ego boosting thing. Uh, so anyway, I just say that to say that in a game like this, when they cheer you, woo, it's kind of uh, uh, makes you feel good, right? It's 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 a good self esteem boost. And I think it actually does have some therapeutic value. As silly as it sounds, just to, you know, whoa, yay, but you know, it's important. I mean, it gives the player some kind of, like, reward. You know, it's uh, you can give them gold or better items, but just hearing some cheering is pretty cool. Well, let's see. Okay. So we built 130 troops, lost 61. Killed 46, built 26 buildings, lost a building, destroyed 22. You are victorious! Look at that guy, I man. He's like, oh, yeah! 
The High Elves like this, apparently, for doing this. Uh, recruit troops and a retinue for future battles. So as far as I can tell, you know, we could take some of our highest level uh, troops from that battle. If, you know, stick them over here. Call of Dune, I guess, I don't know why he's already selected. Recruit troops. Why are all these X now? Level up my hero that time, but there's lots of ways to level him up. He might even have enough experience points to do that. We can check it out. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to pause here a moment. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Warlord's Battle Cry 3. A lot of fun, a lot of variety. I'm going to go ahead and start another mission here. Raid a Sarathi village. That sounds like fun. I do like to raid things. <laughs> Let's see. Raid. Replayable, so we can do this as many times as we want. Sarathi gold worth 60 crowns. Difficult easy. You must attack a tribe, slay all of their warriors, and take their gold. That's the way I like my quests. Simple. No complexity, no difficult choices to make. <laughs> Your choices matter. Hey, right. I just want to kill everything. Let's see. Your retinue. Okay, check, check, check. Get a Duke Charles. Kale Prune. Grab a couple more. Let's see. What do we want? Probably grab a couple of those archers and peasant. I don't know if I'll play through this whole quest uh, again. <laughs> then again, I might get sucked into it. You must kill all enemy units at the beginning of the battle. A timer. Oh, you must kill all enemy uni units, period. At the beginning of the battle, a timer on the right will start counting down to zero. After it has reached zero, any player who loses all the units will be defeated. I thought there for one horrifying minute it was going to impose a time limit on me. <laughs> Okay, this one has a fog of war. So you can see I can't see where the enemy is. That'll make it a little more tricky. Okay. Standard procedure. Let's see if we can get as much stuff in this. You know, there's another thing over there I might be able to claim. There's the gold mine down there. Yeah, I probably want to scooch him a little bit to the left, I think. While he is scooching. Keep build it, build it. <laughs> I don't know where the enemy is, but my guess is somewhere to the lower right. Just guessing. Okay, who else do I have here? Knight. Probably don't want to put the knight in the tower. So, boom! Execute my orders. I love the idea of putting these units in the tower. I can always take him out if I need to use him later in the game. That's something I should keep in mind. Let's see, here's Matt. He's doing something already. I have another squire. Where's this squire at? Just hanging around? Trying to get that tower. Okay, range. Plus two. That's good. Alright, where am I doing on my... This is like addictive as hell, man. <laughs> it's so addictive. You get all this stuff going, you're like, oh, gotta go there, gotta go there. Oh, can't forget to do this, gotta remember to do that. Almost here, almost have enough gold to do that. You know, it's just very engrossing. This guy's about to level. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you that level up screen. You know, I haven't even made like my dancing swords and stuff. We kind of defeated that. That other one was almost too easy. Oh, Don! Okay, do the same thing with these peasants. Get these things. Definitely want the garrison. Now, I guess you got to kind of balance. You could put the garrison somewhere safe. But if you get it too far away, you know, obviously, 
this. Did he not con what? I thought he was converting. Oh. But anyway, you want it somewhere safe, but on the other hand, you don't want it so far away that the troops have to walk forever to get to where you want to you know, gather. Let's see, what's he doing? D -P <laughs> Diplomacy. <laughs> Just remove that. I don't want diplomacy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Got our keep built. I don't think we have a gold mine yet. Ooh, we need to rectify that. Soon as this guy... You see what I mean, though? If this guy, hero, dies, then I can't convert anything anymore. That is not... I think that is what you call suboptimal. <laughs> what else do I have here? We got Duke Charles and... Level 6 Veteran. Next level. Let's have him guard me. Yeah. Go ahead and have Duke Charles guard me too. There we go. So now they'll stick close by him. New armies are available. New armies are available. Yeah, this. We need three two ninety four. So he made the garrison up here. Once again, start kicking those guys out. I feel like the tower up here might be a pretty good idea, too. I think you can also destroy mines instead of converting it. I guess if you wanted to keep the enemy from using it, you could do that. As soon as that is ready, I'm going to stick all those guys in there. Go ahead and rally. I think probably want these guys to rally there. Let's go ahead and make another. In. Can't quite afford another garrison yet. Come on, convert, convert, convert. Almost done. Okay, good. Put all three of these guys there. Get them to work. So we need all the good we can get. Okay. Matt. Uh, need to get more gold. Go ahead and stick these two in the tower. Right, that tower is full. Good. Still making troops. What am I forgetting? Trying to get that gold up. There's probably some more. Great deeds await. Okay. Go ahead and make in. this. Uh, Bound to be some more resources available here somewhere. Just don't want to get too far away from my base. Underway. Forward. Underway. This might be where that bird would come in handy, you know? Probably good. It's got a wider area. Underway. Let's go this way. I could probably build it. Get that marketplace. That's going to be key. I want to make those archers as soon as I can because they, as you know, there's certain things that you need an archer for. Reporting in. Okay. Nothing against you squires or you swordsmen, but underwear. Underwear. Underway. Underway. Underway with the underwear. Reporting in. Underway. 
Well, maybe you only need one Garrus. Probably make... I guess I could wait until I get the Fletcher built. Yeah, sir. Where's the stuff? Got to be some additional resources here. It's almost kind of creepy. I don't know where he is. It's, I assume he's down here somewhere. Alright. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Right. There we go. Sounds like we got our new buildings. Uh, no peasants. There's a peasant. I get the Fletcher. Build a Fletcher, then a garrison, I think. Excellent. Yeah, there's another gold mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I don't see anything else around it. Let's go ahead and claim it. Reporting in. Reporting in. Oh, forgot to make peasants. Oh, I'm making peasants. Fletcher's almost done. When that's done, I think we'll build another gear. So let's start pumping out some archers. I want to see if I can get to the better buildings this time. Maybe we'll take it a little bit easier on the. Yeah, let's uh, not make so many basic troops. I might as well stick this one down here. Okay, sounds like we got another gold mine. We're gonna need to defend that one, I'm pretty sure. We can get that. Okay, good. Reporting in. It's only got another peasant I might start looking into. Yeah, we could get to 490 and just get the level 3 thing before we start trying to upgrade troops. I want you to see the dancing swords. Those are fun. Good. Sounds like we just finished building something. Our second garrison. Good. Start pumping out archers. Unfortunately, they cash money. On watch. Okay, guys. Let's make sure these guys are going to the right place too. You hear it. Oh! The heck is that? Sprites? <laughs> Was under attack. Must be an enemy base here somewhere. This is not really a big enough army to be. To be taking on a base. I got money now. Should be able to upgrade this to level three. I don't know if that's the best move, but uh, I guess we'll see. Put these guys in this gold mine here. Probably best to build build out some of the other kinds of buildings first. You know, sometimes these games you're better off just as quickly as you possibly can attack the enemy base before he has time to build up. Especially if you could grab his resources. If you could take out all his gold mines, Forward. there's some stuff. My it's going to be impossible to defend it all, though, it's a problem. In. Okay. Getting a decent little army here. I wonder where he's going to attack. 
I'm just gonna start moving these guys here towards this gold mine. I think we need a tower next to this gold mine with some troops in it. Just have that feeling. Reporting in. Okay. Where did he? And he's still. So what do we have here? Quarry and a crystal mine. New buildings are available. We got new buildings available. Remember, put this guy back on continuous production. Let's see, what can I build now that I could build before? Oh, we got the whole smurgish board. Oh, there's the dancing swords. Now let's do the dancing swords. I'll have my hero build it. Hey, they're just too fun. I don't know if I want to build it there. Yeah, let's we'll just wait a second till we get a peasant to do it. Yeah, I just have the peasants do it. Ooh. Oh, is that the enemy base down there? Reporting in. Yeah. That's an enemy base. Don't see the enemy. Go ahead and claim it. Pretty big army going here. It is my honor to serve you. Reporting in. Uh, I am. Could have two armies. All right, sounds like I got a peasant maid. Probably should build that, but let's go for the Shrine of the Sword. This is fun. Probably not the top priority, but I just can't help myself. I just like the dancing swords. Plus, they can attack stuff that flies. And they take crystals to build those. So I don't have a lot of use for crystals. Okay. Need to build, uh, let's see, get that, get that. Can build a stables. Let's get the market going though, because that is really key to have uh, money. Speaking of which, looks like I got enough money to build something cool. Oh, I don't have a smithy yet. I forgot to build a smithy. Yeah, we just let it accumulate a little bit. We could probably upgrade our. This is expensive, you know. Reporting in. I kind of hate to spend that much money just upgrading up. some troops, but. All right. Well, we know the blue person's around here somewhere. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Let's go ahead and move these guys into position too. How dare you attack my buildings? I'll not fail reporting in. Ooh. I like a big old battle. Eyes open and ears to the ground. Eyes open and ears to the ground. Alright. Who am I? What's going on? This must be the hero or something. Come on. Kill the hero. Oh, check it out. Got some stuff. Barbarian sword. Plus 20 damage. Cast scare. Mighty barbarian weapon. A few warlords can wield it. We've got a shield. You notice these things take away from my spellcasting ability, but this guy's a knight anyway. 30 damage versus snakesmen and dinosaurs. So we could just put him in the backpack, I think, for now. I don't know if a plus five armor or fire resistance spell cast. This is very situational, you might say, but pretty cool to have some items. Okay. Ooh, it's a lot of troops. 
Let's... I mean, it must be their base there. Let's see. Well, this stuff's not going to be great for... Uh... Oh, another gold mine. Yes, 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 yes. Take her gold. Oh, wait. I want to move, reposition a little bit first. Let's try to see if we can get... There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, the trouble is, how am I going to be able to defend all of this? Ooh, got the dancing swords. Now check this. You got all these other things you can do too, like stuff for knights, heroes, morale. Resistance. I haven't even done a quest yet. This one allows siege weapons to be built. That'll be really useful. Go ahead and do that. So we can start making those. More gold. Oh, he's not even full yet. What are you guys doing? Might take one of these guys. Do we need to build anything else? Uh, smithy. Take a little while. Let's see what's going on down here. Try. What's that? Turtle? Turtles. What did he say he was all done? No, he's not all done. That one's full. That one you could use some more people. Actually, no, it's full too. Well, no need to go there. This one's probably going to get taken back. But where else could we put this guy? I never really run out of ore. I guess we could put him in the crystal, or crystal production. Do I have a crystal? Oh, I don't... Here's one. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of crystal production going on. I don't need a whole lot. You do need them for those swords. Boom. Now, this is going just don't a little queasy not knowing where their big base is okay now they're done with the now that I got so many troops you know that the smithy's gonna make a big difference all those guys suddenly get increased melee damage let's see I guess or a little bit short of ore, but I tell you, I'm gonna need a uh... gold. Always seems to be the problem. Wait, did I not? Oh, he's working on that. Good, 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 Oh wait, do I have my? No, I stay. That must take a long time. <laughs> Look at all these guys. Just a perfect little army up there. I need a stables too. Research complete. Uh, what research? Is my honor to serve you. What am I done research? Oh yeah. Guys, where do you think her base is? I should build an airy, 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 airy. There's some ruins. I, just, <laughs> I know the blue guys around here somewhere. Complete. You have too many 
too many men, so I need to upgrade my keep again. And, ooh, we need a bunch more gold. That's okay, though. It's kind of a natural cap, so we'll stop making stuff for a while. And I can focus on improvements. That's working. That I'll be having lots of gold this time. Well, I guess there's no point in building an area if I can't. Let's see, I think maybe building a tower. Does building a tower give you. Uh, is this army limit plus two? I guess everything gives you more. No, some stuff doesn't specify. Army limit plus two. Well. Okay, how much does it cost to build a tower? We could build a tower. Why don't we build a tower around this? So that looks like a good place to attack. Researched. What is this? Oh, 980. Oh, that's going to take a while. Yeah, let's go for armor. You know, I noticed the armor one says it's for all units. Oh, look. Nice little grouping. Off we go. I'm guessing he must be over here soon. Send these guys there. Make some catapults. Basic siege weapon. to kill that turtle. Not <laughs> Off we you go. get anything for killing the turtles? Not okay. Research complete. Oh. Oh. Where is the enemy? Okay, he's gonna make some. I keep forgetting what it is I'm researching. Oh, it might have been that. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I need to make upgrade this keep. I think it's going to be the thing. All right, guys. Everything I've seen has come from. Complete. No, I wonder if I stick these guys in the, the tower that frees up some space. I doubt it, but perhaps. I know it makes the tower more efficient. Too many men! Mouse wheel's something doing something. A new age is forward. Send these guys. Maybe I can Keep an eye send on. these guys this way. <laughs> you know, if I run into the enemy, I won't have too many men, I'll tell you that. I'll go quick. Probably not the way you want to free up spots. Alright. I'm gonna call these guys group number one. We'll make this group number two. Ooh, what is that? Organic 
creepy. You guys go there. Number one. Whoa, I gotta do something. I got way too much gold here. Upgrade that. Awesome. All knights gained something for kill. That's probably really useful. Uh, might as well build stables, start pumping out knights. Huh. As soon as that's built, I should have. Uh, Be able to build more men. I wonder what's the most Underway. biggest, baddest units I can build as a knight. Keep an eye out. I'll not fail you. Well, if I follow the path, I should run into something eventually, right? You know he's got all this time. You know he can just sitting over there. What was all done? Oh, the stables. Okay. I guess we can do the improvements as we're waiting. Yeah. All the improvements. Come on, where is the bad guy? There's some more stuff. It's not even claimed. Or is it? No, I think it is claimed. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. So I need my hero up here. These guys. Go on somewhere else. I'm gonna claim these resources. Whoa! Building's under attack. Where? I guess the guys in the tower got him. <laughs> well, that'll work. That's why you got the towers. Put some men in those towers and... Well worth it. Okay. Convert those resources. Number two. Well, he's got to be in the southern. He's got to be down here, obviously. So let's Off just get on with it. Ooh, look at this thing. It's getting massive. Ooh, I got some dancing swords. Yay! Okay, go ahead and make some knights. Knights champions. I've never really done the more advanced uh, versions. Could be kind of fun to play with. Okay, this must be full. Um, what am I low on? Okay, is there another gold mine? That one's got some space. This is going well. Six to seventy, so he's almost done. Yes. Keep an eye out. Hurry up and wait. You know, he must be. I bet you he's right there in the lower. Just right across from where my guys are. So let's do a little. Here's what I'm thinking. We, oh wait, here we go. That's an ore mine. There we go. Ah, we're talking. Let those guys work on this stuff. Oh no, that's a lot. That might be too much. 
Let's get you guys back. It could be better to attack all at once and waste units. Research complete. See, there we go. We can level up this guy now. Uh, so this is just like a role-playing game. You know, we can got these stats. I don't know if it's going to tell me what yeah, they do. So this is uh, strength or combat. Plus 14 to combat. Damage. Life regeneration. Dexterity makes you move faster, mainly. Intelligence would be probably more important for a spellcaster. I like the charisma just because it makes that radius bigger and you can have more people. Oh, oh, there you go. That's what those X's were, right? The retinue slots. So I guess if we pump that up, we can have bring more people over next uh, next battle. So that'd be pretty cool. Let's see. I might do the dexterity, though. Just My strength is already pretty high. Ah, you can never be strong enough. <laughs> and then we got all these skills. Weapon master. Good for critical hits. Some of this is very specific. Some of it's... Oh, we have to have a higher level to start pumping that up. Regeneration, leadership, ferocity. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the... I kind of like the idea of regenerating my health. Let's... Oh, I can't get that yet. Oh, I guess I put it in. Okay, good. And so he can regenerate a little bit faster now. Let's grab him. Your troops are under attack. Uh, let's see. Probably want to meet up. Let's meet up there, I think. I'm going to grab everything. Grab this source, too. We'll call this battle group number three. Let's try to get everybody. Is there a... Yeah, there's even a level five. I'll tell you what, though. Let's see what else we can build. And allows advancements for knights. Market. You got a market. Cathedral. Produces basic flyers. Never messed around with that too much. Ooh, we've got to get our knights now. Though. That's a good. One. Okay. Uh, let's just keep. I think improving. Okay, he's working on all those improvements. Okay. Where's the one for, uh, there we go. Flaming arrows. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, what's this trade? You can trade one resource for another. Eh, it might be useful, but I want to spend all those resources on that. You know what? Let's do that. I might as well have a level 5 keep. Why not? Why not indeed? Eh, give me an airy. Not even sure what it is, but... <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Oh, this is going to be glorious to see all these guys go into battle. Hey, what happened to my... Didn't I have a catapult? Where's my catapult? Who's making that catapult? I just imagine that. I don't know what's what's going. Oh, it's am I still making it. Wow, that's slow. Why is it frozen? You know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll just cancel it. Try to build it again. You got hung up for some reason. I guess it's possible I still have too many troops. Well, we'll solve that problem, won't we? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, look at all these guys, man. Oh, man. That's a lot of dudes. I wish there was a way to heal them. I think it's probably best to have everybody together in one big army. <laughs> Look at these dancing swords. Oh, we got some new armies available, huh? Yeah, produces advanced flyers. 
What the hell? Just go straight for the advanced ones. Why even make the basic units? You know, I do a cathedral too. Why not? These people need to pray. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Look at all this. <laughs> look at I can even fit them all on the screen. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just get down there and just start shopping. Your troops are under attack. No, I'm not under attack. He's the one under attack. Let's get that straight. I think I even got flaming arrows now. <laughs> oh glory. Ha <laughs> ha! Get those towers. Gaining levels. Oh, this is what it's all about, folks. This is what it's all about. Let me see. Do I have my... I want a catapult. <laughs> I could cancel that stuff. Oh, wow. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, folks, I think that's good enough to show you what this game's all about. You know, I'm having a great time here. There's so much stuff to do, so many things to build, and this is just one of the races, right? There's like, I don't know how many other races you could pick. I have a totally different set of, uh, you know, troops and buildings. Uh, it's just a really fun game. I don't know how you can go wrong with this. You know, I think I actually like this better than some of the more popular ones out there. Especially playing at one player. Now, I don't know if I would like this as much if I couldn't pause it. Because that's kind of important to me to be able to pause and move around and see what's going on. But, you know, your mileage may vary on that. Uh, but anyway, I don't see, again, if you like this genre and you haven't played Warlords, uh, the Warlords Battle Cry series, I think you really owe it to yourself to try it out. See what you think, see if you like it. Um... Is it perfect? You know, I, I don't know, but who cares about that? It's something new, something different. You quickly get engrossed in it, get into like troops <laughs> and buildings. <laughs> There's so many things, you know. I think it's well worth the money. And I feel like I'm just barely even just scratching the surface here. You know, really early stages. You could probably go, uh, you know, days, weeks, even months playing this and still not know everything, still be learning about new things, developing new strategies. So. Anyway, I'm going to just stop it here and just say you got to get this game. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll like it. You know, let me know what you uh, what your strategies are. Maybe you want to maybe play some of those other races, have a favorite. You know, like to know about that. I think there's a one you might uh, suggest for me in my next playthrough. I might check out a different... Uh, but I'm going to leave it here. Really good game. Really lives up to the uh, its reputation as being fun, engaging. Uh, it, there could be a bit of a learning curve. Let me just say this. Uh, if you just start playing and you're anything like me, you just get your butt kicked several times. <laughs> uh, there's something kind of weird about the first couple of quests. You don't really have to build up an army and take out the enemy. You're pretty much supposed to just rush and go through a portal. For, uh, I think that's the quest chain. So if you do all the stuff I've been doing in this video, you'll probably lose. Because you're just supposed to make a beeline for the portal. So just make sure you read the quest text on those first couple of quests. Uh, but after that, it should be fairly smooth sailing. You know, just remember, you don't you want to get that production going real quick. Don't sit around and uh, you know don't try to survey everything and forget about producing troops because they will come across and quickly destroy you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. That's all for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Man, that was a great game. You know, and if you're like me, you start playing it. You know, if you haven't played it back in the day. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. You might die a bunch of times, start to get frustrated and want to quit. Uh, I encourage you, though, just stick with it a little bit longer. You know, give yourself a little bit more time to adjust because eventually you'll get into that zone. And this game will suck you in. <laughs> and it, does, it won't let you go. <laughs> it's really fun, fun stuff. So 
Uh, thanks to everybody. And again, it's only about 10 bucks on GOG. Uh, I didn't check Steam, but it's probably a similar price there. But, you know, definitely check this out. Runs great. You know, you won't have any issues. Just you download straight from GOG and you're good to go. I uh, want to uh, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. 100% gratitude. Got my gratitude uh, attribute all the way up, maxed out. <laughs> thank you. Uh, to all those who have supported this show financially. You know, it's a big, big deal. I'm trying to bring in Matt Shurgy as an assistant producer, basically. He's going to be helping me get these episodes out on a more regular basis. So I'm sure he appreciates uh, your support as well. Uh, but we've got a lot of exciting stuff going to be happening here. Now, so if you haven't already done so, go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon site. Uh, buck a show, that's all I'm asking. But if, hey, if you want to put in two bucks, five bucks, you know, whatever you're comfortable, whatever the show is worth to you, you know, think about how much you... Think about your level of enjoyment, you know, and, uh, what do you think it's worth, and head over there to that link. It only takes a couple of minutes to set that up, and you can be just as cool and awesome as Adam and Robert. <laughs> Thank you, Adam and Robert, for becoming retrons over on the uh, Match Hat page. And don't forget, we got a kick-ass Discord channel. i got some plans for that coming up, uh, too, by the way. Uh, so you might want to look into that, you know, if you are already a patron, but you haven't ever looked into that Discord channel, you might want to look into it, because there's some really really fun stuff happening there. Now, I'll just leave it at that. I want to, I want you to discover that on your own, so uh, do check it out, though. All right, what about that news from the Met Cave? <laughs> Oh, what about that news? Let's see, Miko, man, Miko's just been uh, really, he's pretty much a journalist at this point. I mean, he, he's just got so much good stuff here. Uh, let's start with this uh, announcement. There's a new DLC for the game, Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Now, I don't think this game is getting enough attention. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think it's really faithful to the rule set. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, well, they have a new uh, DLC called Palace of Ice. It's a... Uh, Picks up from level 10 to 16, so it's something you can play. And you can actually import your characters from the original campaign, plop them into this, and you're good to go. You got two new ancestries. Uh, ancestries. You know, they, can, they can't decide what they want to call this. Uh, not just the Celasta guys, but the, uh, you know, I noticed, uh, was it Wizards? Or who, who, who's ever got the, you know, got control of that? I think they wanted to change it from races to species. You know, and now they... I guess Celasta wants to call them Ancestries. I don't know. You know. I guess pick which one of those you like best. But uh, Anyway, it's Gnomes and Tieflings are available now. You can play those. Pretty cool. You know, I always like, uh, I always like the Gnomes. You know, they kind of... I feel like I, if I were uh, transported to a fantasy realm, I'd probably be a Gnome. <laughs> Not because I necessarily love them, but I, it's just, you know, you got to be honest with yourself sometimes, and you're like, yeah, I'm probably a Gnome. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. What in the hell is happening to my... Oh, boy. My Evernote is just going berserk here. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Bone Totem. Uh, Bone Totem, you might remember I talked about Bone uh, Stasis a while back. This is the new one. comes out on May 31st. It's got a new story, new characters, new underwater environment. So they're really uh, working on this underwater concept pretty cool looking. I think people are going to enjoy that. Uh, they got Mark Morgan back to do the score. They've got a professional studio called Night Rocket Productions to do to help them out with the video, uh, the acting, and so on and so forth. All of the actors are seasoned TV and film professionals, they say. So don't worry. <laughs> oh, uh, Ryan and Glenn Cooper are also back. So then this is a lot of people are keeping an eye on this. You know, we like the point and click adventures. We like puzzle adventure games. Uh, so these guys are keeping that dream alive. Love to support them. Keep that going. It's encouraging to see them making progress and almost done. Almost they, they can see the finish line. <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, and then finally, uh, Warhammer 40,000. Uh, so you might have played those fantasy Warhammers. There's also a science fiction one uh, called Warhammer 40,000. Uh, well, that series is getting a game called Rogue Trader. That's T-R-A-D-E-R, -E Trader. Beta comes out on June 1st. Begin your journey in the first classic computer role-playing game set in the grim darkness of the 31st millennium. 
Uh, become a rogue trader, a sign of an ancient dynasty of daring privateers that reign over their trade empire and explore the fringes of the Imperium's frontier. Now, I gotta say, just looking at the material they've presented so far, this is looking pretty good. You know, I think it might find a nice niche there. You know, it kind of looks superficially like maybe like an XCOM. Uh, uh, what's that later? Uh, some of those, uh, maybe even like a Wasteland uh, style game. Uh, but it's set in this Warhammer universe, which uh, 40,000, which I don't know a whole lot about. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. This might be a good place to get involved in that uh, realm. So I guess, you know, only time will tell, but I'm, I'm, something tells me this this might be something to keep an eye on. You know, it's it's got on my radar now. I'm going to keep uh, <laughs> keep tabs on it. Maybe this will be the next big thing. Who knows? Uh, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. Uh, and then finally, a bit of sad news. Um, Peter Oliphant. I don't know if you guys might remember, I talked to him, it's been 11 years ago, a decade ago. It's amazing how time flies, but he unfortunately has passed away. Uh, so condolences and sympathy to him and his, uh, his family and friends. But, uh, you know, I'm glad I got to chat with him, got to meet him. Uh, we got to talk all about Stonekeep and his uh, uh, career. He had a childhood, he had a career as a child as a child actor. Did some pretty impressive stuff in, the, in Hollywood. Uh, before he did uh, worked at Interplay doing Stonekeep and all a bunch of other stuff. Really cool dude. Uh, and I noticed uh, that he had a, a Twitter page where he, had, he was posting little quotes and thoughts of the day and that sort of thing. And I found one I thought I would share with you kind of in his, in his honor uh, today. It goes something like this. Today's thought. Life is like chess, except you only get to see a small portion of the board at a time. <laughs> He's got a bunch more of those. <laughs> so definitely check that out. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and see you guys next time. So in the future, we can avoid that, too. Firstly, what about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs>